Okay, in this video we're going to put a composite mod into this Atari 2600 Junior. I picked this kit here off of eBay for under $15 and it comes with three of the RCA jacks. So first we're going to do is open up our... Oh wait! First thing you want to do is make sure this works and this does. I already tested it. It works. Five screws on the back. Three in the back, two in the bottom. Lift this up. This one's pretty dirty. We might have to clean it. a few plastic prying tools which will come in handy here. Alright, we got that part off. We can throw these shieldings away. That's just that's not needed. It's something the um they had to add for regulation reasons. And now we gotta bend a few more here. That piece is fell right out. There we go. Got more garbage. All right. Now we're gonna go upstairs and um, air this thing out. All right. The instruction says to remove this transistor. Right here is Q4. We can snip it. I got some snips right here. We also got to remove this resistor right here. I'm just gonna um, desolder it since I have a desolder tool right here. It'll just be easier. that hole out really simple you kind of see the two holes we have here right here and right here we're going to solder two let's see what's next so if you're not sure just clip one side if you're not sure clip one side stand it up we can see it's r17 like we're supposed to because if we were wrong i could put it back down and and solder that back in place so i cut one leg and stand it up now over here C33. What's that? Just that right there. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do the same thing. Clip one leg. Stand it up. C33. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Um, I'm gonna clip the other side now. It says we have to open up a hole right here. Let me see. Got to open up A3. All right. Might need a uh, solder wick for this. We'll try it maybe from the back side. And I picked the right side. I got it from the um from the back side. Because I couldn't get my um desolder iron in there close enough. Alright, so the instructions I'm looking at, like this is the output. This is fairly straightforward for the output here. But we gotta be careful with um how this is labeled to where we put these. I didn't even cut the ends. Let me go get my. I gotta go get my wire strippers. Well, well, the ends of the wires weren't um, pre-stripped, so this is a wire stripping tool. Put it to a real light setting because this wire is really thin, and it uh, well, could break the wire. And you just put the wire in there, squeeze it, and it strips. Okay, next I got the three holes drilled in. These are quarter inch. I put one right about the middle and then one on right on this side one on that line and we're gonna put the jacks in here now here we go we have the yellow and then the yellow is the uh, video and then the sound and then you bend these little chips down because we gotta put the ground wire across all these okay so if you're getting instructions off of uh, YouTube or web pages you gotta know that those instructions might not be for that mod kit that you have. So this is what you wanna know. Uh, on, on this side here. The top, the red is the plus five volt. The blue is the audio. The yellow is video, the black is ground. Uh, one web page I looked at had these two flipped. And I was like, yellow goes to the yellow plug up there. Why did they have it mixed up? Because the yellow is the video, and the video plug is yellow. So, just make sure you know your, your volts, your audio, your video, and your ground. So when you 
solder this in, you do it correctly. The output is um, even simpler. Alright, let's just do the ground first. These leads are too too big, so I'm gonna snip off some. But maybe I'll do it afterwards. Let's take the um ground right in through there. That's the easiest one. Black is ground. Easy. And I just got a really cheap soldering iron here. Oh, that's ready to go. All right. That was easy. Black is ground. Step off the extra. Uh, the five volt goes. The five volt goes right here, so we know that my five volt. Here is the red. I bend it slightly so it doesn't fall back out. I'm just going to solder that in. Get it up the part. Bring the solder in. Snip off the rest. Next, we need to find, figure out where the um, the video and audio plug into. All right, let's uh, hook up the uh, RCA plugs now. We need the ground to go across all of these, so I'm gonna go get a, like a jumper wire here. All right, so I just soldered this wire across here, and then the black output. I'm gonna stick in there somewhere too. Let's see. All right, let's put some solder on that, and then we'll be done with the ground. Solder right there. And now we got to attach. Since this is mono, we gotta attach these two. We know the video is yellow. Let's stick the yellow in there. One thing I like to do on something like this is uh, do a tug test. You want to make sure I solder good and not just flimsy. That's very important. So the blue, if we strip this long enough, we can run this across both. This wire is really flimsy. I don't know if I can strip both of this. Let me go get a knife and try. We're gonna give that a tug test. Also, that's on there good. We might be done. Let's think about putting this back together and testing it. I have this plugged into my Commodore monitor. Just when I thought it wasn't working, I had two cartridges, Pitfall and Fishing Derby, and it didn't work. So I went and got uh, one more cartridge. I went and plugged in asteroids, and the darn thing does work. There's a lesson here. Um, don't test with uh, bad cartridges, I guess, huh? All right, we need to uh, tweak the color here before we put it back together. It's this little pot right here to adjust the colors. So I'm gonna put Pitfall in there, and we're gonna adjust the colors because we all know uh, we're all familiar with Pitfall and the and the color Pitfall should be. Well, I'm happy to say I'm in the basement. I've got this all put back together. Start a game. You can see the plugs inside. I'm using a pro stick. To, these are really nice joysticks. These are eight and four-way joysticks. And there you go. Project done. Let's turn that down a little bit. Audio works too, as you notice. And there you go. So I'm pretty happy. Now we can capture some gameplay with my Elgato right here. That's how I capture my Commodore 64 gameplay, it's the Elgato. And now we can do the same for the Atari 2600. Guys, thanks for watching. It was uh, quite the project. 
took a little longer than I thought. But when you're done, you're like, it's worth it. Tips, make sure you know which cartridges work before you start the project. Make sure you know that your machine works before you start. Make sure you know your cartridge works before you start. All right, guys. Post below any comments or questions. Thank you. All right, so I tested the colors and it's looking good. Let me put Pitfall back in. The great thing about using Pitfall is that you can adjust the colors to like look here and look here. That's actually green. There you go. The camera's not picking it up just right. And do you what? Know what? This looks fabulous on a Commodore monitor right here. Wow. Turned out good. We're done. Definitely worth it. Why isn't that color not coming out right? There you go. You can see it's green there. Don't forget there's a black and white switch here. Uh, also, as I'm adjusting, I can adjust the pot. I wanted to show you me adjusting the pot. Look at the colors. Turn it on. It'll be a little bit brighter. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Perfect? Or tweak it a little bit more? Oh, look at these crazy colors you can do here. By playing with that. All right, let's stop playing around. Let's get it done. All right, about there. I think we're done.